we're gonna do a subtraction snake game using these beads. And um, you set it up the same way as an addition problem, but the gray beads represent the negative numbers. So you see we have a negative six and a negative nine. So something interesting happens once you hit those. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh, what happens when we hit these? Um, we have to, no, that one. You go backwards, that's right. Then you pair them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I have left on this side? Two, mm -hmm. so you put two here. Mm -hmm. Put the two on this side, and then we can that's our placeholder, so we can keep our beads that we're switching them out for. Okay. What's going on? I hear sirens. Scoot our black beads over. Let me count later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, did I skip a bead? Shoot. It's hard to look on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten. So what do we need on that side? Um, one. Mhm. Mm a one placeholder. And, and then what can we put on this side? No, I didn't mean. Right, because we're exchanging ten for ten, turning our snake gold. Oh, yeah. Then if what out? Um, yep. And put one in there. Yep. So put if one here. Mhm. Mm yep. And we're saving these beads for later, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So where do we start? Do you remember? The black bead, right? One, One two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, eight, nine. nine ten. <laughs> so I was gonna count. Well, okay, doesn't matter because we're going backwards. And then we go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this guy can go over here, this guy can go over here, and then this guy can go back mm -hmm. home. And what are we left with? One ten. One ten bead. So the answer is ten. And then you know how to mm. check it? No. Okay. We check it by going, first we make a bead stare. Okay. Then we take this guy, he's nine. Right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have a nine bead, so those would cancel out. Then we gotta get rid of this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we have a six bead? One, one. Count this two, one. One, two, two three, four, four five. five. Is that six? No. One, two. Three. So if I put him here, how many more do we need for that to be the same number? Can you tell? He needs one more bead. One more. So, do we have a one bead? No. No. But what can we exchange three for? Mm. To make the same number. For another bead? No, not a golden bead. We can exchange it for three one beads, because that's the same thing, right? If you have three one beads, it equals a <laughs> bar of three beads. Mm. Do you see? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so how many did we need down here? Just one? Mm -hmm. So let's borrow one. Oh, we had to put him back in the box. Mm -hmm. All right, and then borrow this guy. It's so noisy out today. Okay, so those cancel out, those cancel out. And what do we have left over? A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Nine, ten. So that's the okay. same as our golden bead answer. So that is how we know everything, everything is accounted for and it's correct because mm -hmm. we've checked it. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe he hate me. Why not? It's 10. Right, the answer is 10. Mm -hmm.